The Georgia Southern Eagles represent Georgia Southern University in football as part of the Sun Belt Conference under head coach Willie Fritz. The Eagles have won six FCS national championships and have produced two Walter Payton Award winners. The Eagles first continuously fielded a football team in 1924. However, play was suspended for World War II and revived in 1981. The Eagles competed as an FCS independent from 1984 until 1991 as the Eagles' main conference at the time, the Trans-America Athletic Conference, did not sponsor football, and as a member of the Southern Conference from 1992 until 2013, winning 10 SOCOM championships. Georgia Southern joined the Sun Belt Conference upon transitioning to the FBS level in 2014. The Eagles won the Sun Belt Conference Championship outright in its first year as an FBS member. History equals Early years, 1924 a Euro 1941 equals, as first district A&M, the school began organizing football teams as early as 1909. However, the college first continuously fielded a team in 1924. In 1929, B.L. Crook Smith a sports standout from Mercer University, was hired as football coach and athletics director and would lead the football team for 13 seasons. Football was suspended in 1941 at the outset of World War II and would not return for 41 years. Equals Eric Russell era, 1981 a Euro 1989 equals, in 1978, President Dale Lick decided that football should be revived at Georgia Southern College. Despite a faculty senate vote against renewing the sport, Lick worked to generate support for the endeavor. In 1982, the school hired Eric Russell, the popular and charismatic defensive coordinator at the University of Georgia, to coach the new football team. On the hire, humorist Lewis Grizzard said, when they landed Eric Russell, they got themselves a franchise. The Eagles fielded a club team in 1982 and 1983 and began official NCAA Division I AA play in 1984. The next year, the Eagles would win their first Division I AA national championship in Tacoma, Washington, defeating Furman University, in only the team's fourth year in existence, second as a varsity team. The Eagles would return to Tacoma the next year and win the championship versus Arkansas State. In 1989, the Eagles became the first college team to go 15-0 in the 20th century, winning the national championship on their home field versus Stephen F. Austin. Soon after the game, Russell retired. Equals Tim Stoas era, 1990 Euro 1996 equals, Tim Stoas was hired to succeed Russell after Georgia Southern's 1989 national title. Stoas was the 1989 offensive coordinator, one of only two coordinators since 1900 to direct an offense of a team with a 15-0 record. However, Stoas was never able to live up to the expectations set by Russell and was fired in 1995 after a 9-4 record, ranked as one of top eight teams in 1995, by the new athletics director Sam Baker, who never saw Stoas coach a game. Stowers overall record of 51-23 versus FCS IAA opponents. FBS DIA losses Miami Hurricanes twice, Georgia Bulldogs, Auburn Tigers, and Bobby Bowden and Florida State Seminoles. Stowers had a 6-2 playoff record and a 51-18 overall record versus Iowa FCS opponents in lower. Stoas won the 1990 IAA National Championship and was named AFCA Kodak National Coach of the Year. He also won Georgia Southern's first Southern Conference title in 1993 and was named 1993 Southern Conference Coach of the Year. He was succeeded by interim coach Frank Elwood for one year. The 1996 season was the first losing season in the modern era as the Eagles fell to 4-7. Equals Paul Johnson era. 1997 Euro 2001 equals, the next coach for the Eagles was Paul Johnson. Johnson found instant success, taking the Eagles to the playoffs in his first season. He, along with Eagle legend Adrian N. Peterson, reached the 1998 National Championship. However, the Eagles lost the game to the University of Massachusetts 55-43 in Chattanooga, 
Tennessee. The Eagles rebounded under Johnson and won back-to-back -back national championships in 1999 and 2000. Both games were played in Chattanooga, teen. After the 2001 season, Johnson resigned to become the head coach of Navy. Equals post Johnson era, 2002 a Euro 2009 equals, Johnson was succeeded by Mike Sawak. Despite winning the Southern Conference Championship twice in his tenure, his lack of postseason success, as well as a falling out with former head coach Eric Russell, led to his firing after the 2005 season. Brian Van Gorder, a former defensive coordinator at the University of Georgia, was hired to succeed Sawak. In the first of many controversial moves, Van Gorder scrapped Georgia Southern's famed triple option offense and did away with certain traditions, such as the team's arrival at home games on yellow school buses. Also, Russell died unexpectedly on the Friday before the first game of the 2006 season. He had addressed the team on the night before. Van Gorder led the team to a 3-8 record, the worst in the modern era of Georgia Southern football. After his unsatisfactory one year as coach, Van Gorder left to take a position with the Atlanta Falcons. Chris Hatcher, formerly the head coach at Valdosta State University, which he led to the 2004 NCAA Division II Football Championship, was named the new head coach on January 19, 2007. Hatcher led the Eagles back to a winning record with a 7-4 finish, barely missing the playoffs. However, Hatcher could not replicate the success of his first season, going 11-11 in the following two seasons. He was dismissed after the conclusion of the 2009 season, the team's third modern era season with a losing record. Equals Jeff Munkin era and final years in the FCS, 2010 Euro 2013 equals, on November 29, 2009, school officials announced that Jeff Munkin, a longtime assistant coach under Paul Johnson, would become the next head coach of the Eagles. Munkin's hiring signaled the return of the triple option offense which brought success to the program in years past. In Munkin's first year, the Eagles finished the regular season with a 7-4 record and made their first playoff appearance since 2005, advancing to the semifinals, where the Eagles fell to the Delaware Blue Hens. During the 2011 season, Georgia Southern was ranked number one in the FCS for the first time since the 2001 season. Additionally, Georgia Southern clinched the Southern Conference Football Championship for the first time since 2004 and first time outright since 2002. The Eagles finished the 2011 regular season with a 9-2 record. However, they were ousted in the semifinals for a second straight year by the eventual FCS champion North Dakota State Bison. In the 2012 season, the Eagles finished the regular season with an 8-3 record with a share of the Southern Conference Championship. However, the Eagles fell for a third straight time in the FCS semifinals, ultimately the team's final FCS playoff game, losing a rematch of the previous year's semifinal game against North Dakota State. In the team's final FCS season, the Eagles complied a 7-4 record. In the final game of that season, the Eagles earned an upset win over the Florida Gators 26-20, the team's first win over a FBS opponent in 21 tries. On December 24, 2013, Munkin resigned to become the next head coach of the Army Black Knights. Equals Willie Fritz era and the start of FBS play, 2014 the Euro 2015 equals, after years of rumors and fan speculation, Georgia Southern announced its intentions to move to the Football Bowl subdivision level in April 2012. The university plans to raise $36.6 million over eight years to accommodate the move. Polson Stadium will be expanded to FBS standards by constructing a 57,000 square feet football operations center in the eastern end of the stadium and adding 6,300 seats on the north stands. Additionally, Students voted in favor of raising student athletic fees by $100 to accommodate the move. $25 of the fee increase will be used for the stadium expansion project while the remaining $75 is implemented as the FBS fee. On July 27, 2012, then-Athletics Director Sam Baker resigned. 
Baker was an ardent supporter of remaining in the FCS despite University President Brooks Keel's proclamation, mainly due to the financial ramifications of moving to a higher level. On November 12, 2012, President Keel named Tom Cleanland as athletics director. On March 27, 2013, Georgia Southern announced its move to the Sun Belt Conference on July 1, 2014, becoming bowl eligible in 2015. In the 2013 season, Georgia Southern's football schedule remained the same, but it was ineligible for the Southern Conference title as well as the FCS playoffs. The university paid the Southern Conference $600,000 in exit fees. On January 10, 2014, Willie Fritz, formerly the head coach of the Sam Houston State Barcats, was named as the Eagles' ninth modern era head coach and first of the FBS era. In the Eagles' first FBS season, the team finished the season 9-3 overall and was undefeated in Sunday Belt Conference play at 8-0, winning the outright conference championship. The Eagles became only the third team ever to win a conference title in its first FBS season, after Nevada in 1992 and Marshall in 1997. They were also the first team ever to go unbeaten in conference play in their first FBS season. Since the Eagles were under transitional status, the university filed for a postseason waiver to allow the Eagles to play in a bowl game. However, the NCAA denied Georgia Southern's waiver request and a later appeal since enough full member FBS teams became bowl eligible during the season. Fritz lead the Eagles to a 17-7 receiving their first bowl bid to the Go Daddy Bowl on December 23, 2015 against Bowling Green. On December 11, 2015, Willie Fritz accepted head coaching position at Tulane University having Georgia Southern look for a replacement coach. Postseason equals bowl games equals, the Eagles will participate in their first bowl game since joining FBS on December 23, 2015. Equals Division 1 AAFCS playoffs results equals, the Eagles have appeared in the IOFCS playoffs 19 times with an overall record of 45 a Euro 13. They are six-time national champions and two-time national runner-up. Coaches Stadium Georgia Southern home football games are played at Allen E. Polson Stadium. Polson Stadium was dedicated on September 29, 1984, and has an official seating capacity of 25,000. The record attendance was in the 1989 IAA National Championship game as Georgia Southern hosted Stephen F. Austin University, where the attendance reached 25,725. Prior to the Eagles' first FBS season, Polson Stadium underwent a major expansion project that includes the addition of a new football operations center and an addition of more than 6,000 new seats. All-time record versus Sun Belt teams, official record against all current Sun Belt opponents. Awards, the Eagles have won six NCAA FCS national championships, the most by any team in the nation. Equals national championships equals, 1985. Coach Eric Russell and the Eagles won their first national championship versus Furman University in the Tacoma Dome in Tacoma, Washington. Quarterback Tracy Ham threw for 419 yards and rushed for another 90 to overcome a 28-6 deficit. 1986, the Eagles returned to Tacoma to defeat the Arkansas State Indians. Tracy Ham earned 486 rushing and passing yards and three touchdowns. 1989, in Eck Russell's final game, the Eagles defeated Stephen F. Austin in Statesboro, Georgia, in front of 25,725 fans to complete a perfect 15-0 season. Quarterback Raymond Gross engineered 17 fourth-quarter points, including a game-winning field goal with 141 remaining in the game. 1990, Tim Stowers' Eagles win their fourth national championship versus Nevada, 1999, Paul Johnson won his first national championship in Chattanooga, Tennessee, versus Youngstown State in Jim Trestle's last national championship game as a Penguin. Adrian Peterson ran for a championship game record 247 yards on 25 carries and scored three touchdowns. 2000, the Eagles defeated the Montana Grizzlies to win their sixth and final FCS championship. Equals national runners-up equals. 
1988, the Eagles lost to Furman University in Pocatlo, Idaho, 1998, in Paul Johnson's first national championship game, the Eagles lost to UMass. Equals Conference Championships equals, 1993, Southern Conference, 1997, Southern Conference, 1998, Southern Conference, 1999, Southern Conference, 2000, Southern Conference, 2001, Southern Conference, 2002, Southern Conference, 2004, Southern Conference, 2011, Southern Conference, 2012, Southern Conference, 2014, Sun Belt Conference. Equals Walter Payton Award equals, Georgia Southern is one of five schools to have multiple Walter Payton Award winners honoring the top offensive player in the football championship subdivision. Running back Adrian Peterson won the award in 1999 and quarterback Jason Foster won it in 2007. Equals Eddie Robinson AFCA Kodak Coach of the Year Award equals, two Georgia Southern coaches have won the Eddie Robinson Award winners honoring the top coach in Division I FCS. Eric Russell won it in 1989 and Paul Johnson in 1998. Tim Stowers also won the 1990 AFCA Kodak Coach of the Year Award voted on by his peers. Same award with a name change, with all three of the aforementioned voted on by the American Football Coaches Association membership. Traditions equals Nickname equals, the athletics teams of Georgia Southern University are referred to as the Eagles. However, the school has gone by a number of different nicknames. From as early as 1907 the teams of the then 1st District A&M school were referred to as the culture to reflect the agricultural background of the school. From 1924 to 1941, the nickname was the Blue Tide. After World War II, athletic teams were referred to as the professors reflecting the school's status as a teacher training college. However, in 1959 when the school was renamed Georgia Southern College, a student vote was held to determine the new mascot. Among the 104 entries, voters chose Eagles over Colonels by a narrow margin. In 1997, a contest was held to select the official name of the mascot, incoming freshmen Imin Edmund and Heidi Barber won with the name GUS. Equals Beautiful Eagle Creek equals when Georgia Southern resurrected football in 1981, it lacked tradition. A drainage ditch that the team had to cross several times a day during football practice came to be called Beautiful Eagle Creek by coach Eric Russell. When the Eagles traveled to Northern Iowa during the 1985 playoffs, Russell took along a jug of this Eagle Creek water to sprinkle on the field. Equals the Hugo Bowl equals in 1989 ESPN was to broadcast a Thursday night football game between Georgia Southern and the Middle Tennessee State Blue Raiders. However, Hurricane Hugo, a Category 4 storm, was headed straight toward the coast of Georgia. Hugo ranked as the 11th most intense hurricane at time of landfall to strike the United States this century, with the highest ever recorded storm surge on the East Coast. Nevertheless, the decision was made to continue with the game. For safety purposes, an open line was kept between the press box at Polson Stadium and the National Hurricane Center in Florida. The Eagles went on to defeat MTSU by a score of 26-0 in a classic that will forever be known in Eagle history as the Hugo Bowl. This was the first night game played at Polson Stadium. Temporary lighting was used for the game because the stadium was not outfitted with permanent lighting until the 1994 season. Many feared that the booms used to hoist the stadium lights would tip over due to the heavy wind. While it was expected initially to be a sellout crowd, due to the approaching storm the actual attendance was in the neighborhood of only 3,000. Equals plain uniforms equals, the uniforms consist of plain white pants blue helmets with a white stripe down the middle and the player's number on the sides, and blue jerseys. This minimalist look was adopted more or less out of necessity. When the program was revived in 1982, the school did not have a large budget. Indeed, the equipment budget was so limited that only plain white practice pants could be purchased. Hence, the practice pants doubled as game pants. Russell bought solid blue helmets and had the players put a piece of tape down the middle. With the subsequent success of the Eagles, the basic design has remained the same, 
with the only real changes in recent years being a white stripe down the middle of the helmets and the addition of names to the backs of the jerseys. Sports Illustrated has ranked the uniforms as being the third best in college football. Equals yellow school buses equals, when the football program was restarted in 1981, money was tight. In fact, there wasn't enough money to furnish transportation to home games. The Bullock County school system sold two buses for a dollar each to the team. The buses have been used by the team ever since as transportation to Allen E. Polson Stadium. This tradition continued even when the Eagles rose to powerhouse status. This briefly ended with the arrival of Brian Van Gorder, following his scrapping of the Eagles' triple option rushing attack. The tradition was revived after Van Gorder's departure. Equals Black Flag equals, in 2011, Coach Jeff Munkin's team took the field leading with a solid black flag. The flag symbolized their motto no quarter given, no quarter taken. During the game it was placed behind the bench. The flag was carried by safety Derek Hyden, who suffered a career-ending neck injury early in the season. Equals fight song equals, listen to the fight song, one. Equals hail southern equals, a victory chant. The phrase Hail Southern is also used as a greeting to a fellow Eagle. Future non-conference opponents. Notable alumni. See also, list of winningest college football teams. References. External links, official website.